In March, as the National People's Congress, China's top legislature, convenes its annual session, much attention is focused on how China's system of people's congresses works. To get insight into this process, I've come to the Hongqiao Sub-District in China's economic hub Shanghai. In 2015, China's top legislature set up one of the first legislative outreach offices here. The office serves as a direct communication channel between China's top legislature and ordinary people. Through the office, the opinions of local residents are gathered, relayed to higher levels, and taken into consideration during the legislation process. And here I've met with Simon Lichtenberg, a Danish businessman who has been living in the city for over 30 years. To my surprise, he's also an information officer at the outreach office. How did you get involved in the first place? Well, actually, the first meeting was about the corporate law. They said, well, we need somebody. Maybe Simon can do it. And I said, well, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but I for sure have opinions about corporate right. law because I'm a businessman right. and I use the corporate law all the time. The Hongqiao sub-district has over 25,000 foreign residents. Simon feels it's very relevant to invite foreigners for legislative consultation, but at the same time, it's unexpected. I was quite uh, impressed and uh, also a little bit surprised that I, as a foreigner, was invited to help or to give suggestions to Chinese lawmakers. Because, I mean, in, in, uh, in, in Europe or in the U.S., I don't think a lot of Chinese businessmen are invited to participate in the no. U.S. lawmaking. What's your exactly your duty as an information officer? We get the law and suggestions, and then we give our suggestions based on that. And I talk to my friends, other business people, and I talk to some lawyers also to get, you know, an opinion. And then we sit together in a meeting, and there's an online link to Beijing, to the NPC, the, the legal committee. And there's representatives from different judges, lawyers, right. business people, normal people, yeah. all sitting together. I would say a very broad uh, range of opinions that get collected into this process. Uh, since he became an information officer over three years ago, Simon has participated in formal meetings on five different laws and offered dozens of suggestions. Some of his suggestions were indeed adopted by the NPC. From the corporate law, the, the suggestions that we made about uh, participation in the board meetings from employee participation and so on has been implemented. As of January 2024, the Hongqiao Outreach Office has gathered over 2,800 opinions on 89 draft laws. Among them, 247 opinions have been adopted. So, in the process, the authenticity, efficiency, and broad representation are three things that impressed Simon most during the legislative consultation. It's not a show, it's real. I mean, they are listening to these suggestions and they take them very seriously. The opinion from the outreach offices is as important as the opinion from the legal committee in Beijing. So people just discuss, and in some cases we, we don't agree. So that discussion was quite heated, yes. <laughs> It's an efficient way to get points from many places in the country. The speed is fast because you go straight from the residence somewhere to the legislative committees. I think it's very important that not only legal experts make laws, but also the users, the users of the law are part of the process. The Hongqiao Sub-District Legislative Outreach Office is only one example of China's democratic practice. In all 32 legislative outreach offices set up nationwide by the NPC, voices have not only been heard, but also rendered into action. The 
democracy can mean a lot of things for different countries and for different cultures and people. For me, it's important to to recognize that the way that China governs itself is up to China. China's way of making a democratic process of lawmaking. I mean, I've been part of it myself. That is, of course, the right way for China.